Hello again traders and welcome back to the Pro Trader Network. In this weekly market analysis we're going to look at several pairs that are either way overbought or way oversold. We've had a lot of geopolitical things happening. We've had the ECB talk about quantitative easing. We've had the Greek elections. We've had the dollar gaining strength across the board. We've had the oil glut triggering a huge sell-off and we have the bottom falling out of the euro all the way to a nine-year low. So let's take a look at our chart. As you notice, I've added some more pairs to my portfolio. I am working on doing some more advanced pattern trading. But for the purposes of this weekly market analysis, we're going to keep it simple and simply look at price action. Let's start, traders, by looking at our Aussie dollar. This is our one-hour chart. We've come into some significant structure at the 8200 even handle. We are way overbought on our TDI indicator and I'd be looking to take advantage of some type of reversal candle pattern for a potential counter trend setup here. I'd like to see that market baseline a little bit higher and we may get a last gasp effort here creating a double top, one, two, three outside return and then looking for that retrace. Look at the Kiwi dollar, same thing coming into structure, kind of an ugly triple top here if you will. We retested but we didn't close above. We retested again, didn't close above this high right around the 7840s. Bearish divergence setting up right here but the market baseline not quite where we like to see it but we have this compelling structure right here at the 7841 so I'll be looking to get short if I get a valid signal there. Counter trend divergence trade. Let's take a look here at the Euro Yen. This is our four hour chart. We have some bullish divergence setting up after this massive waterfall sell off and prices moving down. Oscillator moving up. This may continue to fall a little bit. We don't have any relevant structure right now for this price to retest. We may come all the way back down here about the 136, 137 level, but I am watching this TDI. We've got the second wave of a potential bullish divergence setup to look to get long here on the four hour chart. I'll be watching that all week. Here's our Aussie CAD. New structure high here on the one hour chart coming into significant structure on the four hour support resistance and we've broken above and closed above and now we're just leaking right below that 92.27 price range and I'm looking for this overbought condition market baseline in the extreme to produce a nice retrace perhaps a reversal candle pattern here for a few pips on a counter trend trade. Let's take a look at the GBP Aussie. Here's our four hour chart and we've had this nice sell off over the past week and a half. We're coming into some significant resistance possibly becoming support right around the 184.75s and look at our market baseline approaching the extreme right here at the 32 and we're just hanging out below this extreme 32 on our RSI and trade signal line. So looking for a potential retrace or a bullish divergence setup here as price moves down and our oscillator begins to move up on that four hour chart. And then let's take a look at the Swissy Yen. We've got price moving down, oscillator moving up, and looking at this potential second wave of bullish divergence forming for a potential counter trend divergence trade. So that's what I'm looking at at the market open this week and of course we perform our top down analysis every day so that if conditions change in the market we have the ability to adapt. I'd like to thank all of you that attended the live session this weekend. You guys were extremely helpful to me on some of the things I needed answers on and I hope that you enjoyed it as well. Some really good discussions and feedback, answering some questions and emails from traders that I received over the holidays. So we're back in the thick of it now guys. Market extremely volatile which is the way we like to see it. It's very important that we maintain patience, control, and of course we stay focused and follow our rules. Thanks again for visiting the Pro Trader Network and I'll see you next time.